What's up guys, day two of SEMA. I literally had to go and grab another jacket. So I'm literally wearing two jackets because I'm super close today, but we're gonna go finish, or not finish, but continue whatever cool cars we're gonna check out today. Um, we're here in the Central Hall, but um, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys subscribe, drop a like for today's video, and enjoy today's video. Starting off in the Central Hall, front and center, we got the Velside wide body kit from TJ Hunt, but literally everything about this car is so crazy. And of course, he went with the green again, but we got the Blitz wheels, and I believe these are the Falcon tires as well. But this car is so beautiful. Go back to Tokyo Drift with Han and his RX-7. His one was orange. But this is the exact same kit. And look at all of the aero and look at all of that in there. Even also in the front tire, but this rear end is so much more meteor. Quality build, guys. Interior super clean with the bell side seat as well. And of course, the infamous and barrel sought after blitz wheels also fun fact for Velside side and the wide body company that we have on the gtr which is charge speed charge speed and bell side have the same supplier or exporter they run through the same company so maybe one day if we ever get a car that's worth bell siding you already know that's on the chopping block now would you take a look at this build guys so one thing or actually first shout out to joe tech but actually this car is owned by my tuner seth and this is his twin turbo c8 corvette ets twin turbo 1400 horsepower they're trying to get it into the nines maybe even eight but with this setup actually let's see if we can look in behind it but this right here guys i'm telling you they're gonna be doing some work with the C8s and the twin turbo systems. But it's super cool seeing this car in person. And right along the way down here, finally got to see more GTRs. Oh look, there's another GTR over there too. But I'm pretty sure I know who owns this. But one thing I wanted to point out was the wheels on this car because it is carbon barrel wheels. And hopefully one day we do the same with the Rohana wheels. And look at all of that carbon up here in the front too. I like the way that they blended this over here from the top to the side. But that's super sick. And then right over here tucked away in the corner is another C8 Corvette. Now it looks almost identical to that one over there. But this one has a wide body kit. Bro, that's super clean and super low. Dang. Not for everybody. I like that sticker. Now that's legit. Wow. Get all the carbon. 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 Carbon seats. Carbon steering wheel. Carbon dash. Look at that interior. Damn. Imagine having this booth to your disposal. Get this performante oh red that's what you call some nice alcantara interior forge carbon look at these vents yeah, even the front lip so out here in the battle of the builder section where guys enter and they're actually filming it for a tv series but this car is the car i've been wanting to check out I've been following the builder of this car, just seeing him build it in his garage. With that carbon front, wide body kit. With that very, very well done. No rivets at all. Jeez. Got the air suspension in the back with the dual compressors, roll cage, and carbon seats. Ooh, look at this carbon touch over here. Thick wheels, carbon all out here too. Man, seeing this thing in person, this is a thing of beauty. Call me biased once again, but blue and orange, 
will always look so sick. Hey, look at this Resto Mod Mercedes here. All upgraded interior. Look at that, a Louis the 13 bottle in there. Look at that. That's, that's, I like that touch right there. HRE wheels. Look at that suitcase in the back over there. Let's get a good look at the wheels over here. That's some baller wheels. If you look really well on the inside of the barrel, it's orange too. Now it's not every day where you see the whole wheel entire setup tucked in the engine bay. <laughs> That's a dope ass truck right there. Even look in the back. Same thing. Bruh. That's something else. And then what do you know? We got another Z sitting outside. The more and more and more I look at this car, man. Like, I was talking with AMS guys yesterday and they said that they got their Z pushing 700 horsepower already. Stock engine and stock trans. And I've been saying this forever and ever that the Z, the new Z, 400 Z if you want to call it, I it's going to change the whole game, man. back to look at this s2k look at all that carbon carbon front bumper hood wide body stance top duck damn how you doing chief sore huh? too, much too much buffet <laughs> too much we ate bacon out last night that was like the most I've ever eaten. And this guy, wow, he can pound food crazy. Finally made it to the other side, which is the furthest side. Uh, we got all the vinyl guys. 3M, we got 3D, XPEL, Lamborghini, Sion, Roadster. Look at that. This is actually carbon, guys. Whew. There's literally nothing you can say about this car other than nothing. Honestly, it's just so freaking sick. Pagani Huayra, carbon everything. One day guys, one day. Sheepy built, all titanium everything, intake and exhaust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exhaust tips. All gold. Look at the, oh my God. The wrap is beautiful. Jeez. Nissan gang. Sheesh. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, Nismo branded intake. Damn, everything's so like the cramped in interior. there. Yeah, let's look at the interior real quick. Oh, red trim, just like how they do it with the GTR. Six speed manual transmission. That's dope. Actually, let's walk around. Look at the steering wheel, guys. Look at that steering wheel. Carbon with leather. One day, guys, one day. Mark my words. Now this yeah. right here. GT4. Nissan Z. I love the wing. Look at that front end. Such a big... Dude, that mouth is huge. And all these carbon trim too. We gotta look at this. Oh my gosh. Freaking Taco Bell sponsor right here. What in God's name is all of this right here? That's beautiful though. Damn. I'll be honest. I have no idea what this car is. Bruh unmatched colors honestly guys ferrari f40 you got world famous liberty walk gtr in like this millennium j type of look 
I, I really had a feeling that this year Inogitech was going to bring a JDM color, like an iconic JDM color. It was either going to be the J, Millennium J or the Bayside Blue. But God. Look at those wheels. And just the way that... Man, this literally looks like paint. Like Millennium Jade paint. And then... You walk over over here. Look at these exhaust tips, bro. Unbelievably sick. Now let's take a poll. Would you guys rather go with the Porsche or the Ford GT? I'm making my decision with this one. But even though this car may be the better car, I think this one is timeless. Now I don't know what body kit this is. I want to say RWB997. But correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Damn, look at these... Look at how wide this beer is. Jeez, man. I like this duck bill, though. Functional. Ish. We finally found the wheel boots, but take a look at this. ZDE's SVJ. Do a quick walk around. White wheels. The AL13 boot. Delivery goes super hard on this. Now this. Gotta show some love to the GTRs. Liberty Walk Silhouette, LD97, wheels, such an expensive kit. Everything about this car is all replacement. You don't have to really cut anything. But this is so sick, guys. This color too. God. At the Rohana booth. One day, guys, I swear to God, we got to put some Rohanas on the GTR. Look at that, STO. Oh my goodness. These wheels are so sick. All of them. Alright, last one of the day. This may look kind of weird, but this is the interior of an R35 GTR. But on the outside, it looks like an R34. So this was built on a whole R35 chassis, like everything. The only thing that was uh, changed up was the exterior. So everything is R34 exterior. Even got the Z-Tune body kit as well. They make shift some parts here and there, but this looks absolutely sick, guys. Even with Carbon LED too, but all R34. Even got, look at that. Even got the race intercooler for the R35 sitting up there. I don't know how they fit that in there, but even got Z Tune front fenders as well. So you can see the gap over here. But everything about it is still R35 powered. That's absolutely sick. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna cut today's video here. We're actually gonna be leaving a little bit early just to catch up on some rest. Also, just to <laughs> rest our legs because my knees hurt. So, I'll see you guys on the next video. Comment down below what was your favorite car that you guys seen in today's video. And also, make sure if you guys haven't done so already, subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, you guys are all called to be great. Be great in your own way, and most importantly, stay driven.